Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to wrap up our DB wrapper class and um, I decided to create a few methods because at my job we use Falcon PHP and Falcon has this really cool methods um, in their models um, called find and find first and you can pass with those uh, you can pass into those in an array of parameters like conditions and order and limit and bind parameters and in one line you can find all records that fit those, that criteria and you can also find first which will get the first one so um, I wanted to kind of and they do a lot of other really cool stuff with their finds and they have an ORM and things we're not going to get that in depth but I did want to create like a find and find first method that we can use in a very similar fashion to the Falcon um, PHP framework uh, just because I like using that and it's real familiar to me so um, up here we have our insert update and delete method so I think um, it's fitting above our um, insert method that we'll go ahead and we're going to create two new um, methods. So we'll say public function find and um, find will accept two parameters table and then params. Okay, um, And we'll set that equal to an empty array. Uh, we're not going to do anything with that right now. Um, let's go ahead and set up a skeleton for our other function and that will be a find first, and again that will get table, and then uh, params. Those will be cool. An empty array, so we don't have to pass the params if we don't want to. Okay, um, the reason I'm going to leave these empty for right now is because we need one more method, because most these are pretty much going to be the same. And so instead of duplicating code here, remember we talked about dry, I'm going to go ahead and um, extract the stuff that we need for both of these into another method that I'm going to set to a private. You know what? Um, better make that protected. Uh, protected function read and that will be a table and params Again, that's an empty string by default, or empty array by default, my bad. All right, so here we go. We have, um, we're gonna set up our condition string here. And we'll set that equal to string. And then we're gonna just go ahead and set up a few more things. We're gonna say bind is equal to an empty array and um, order is equal to an empty string and limit. It's also going to be equal to an empty string. All right, so um, the way this is going to work is we're going to first um, set up our conditions. Okay, set the conditions, and then we're going to um, worry about binding, and then we will worry about order, and then we will worry about. Okay. All right. So let's start with conditions. Um, the way that this is going to look is let me just say context. All right. So the way this is going to look, we're going to say db find. Okay. And the first parameter will still be the table. And then after that, we're going to have um, <clears throat> an, an array. Now, this array will be, we'll have conditions. We can put our conditions here. And then we'll also have bind available to us. Um, and so we'll bind our values in an array here. And then we'll do order. That'll be an end so put two for now. And then we'll also have limit. Okay. And that'll look something like oops, I didn't mean to put two here. 
Um, but we'll do order, and we'll say we can we can do something like pass it l name. And then limit here will be like two, something like that. You know, think of five. So we want this to work. Um, and in our conditions, um, we don't need to pass the whole SQL statement. Um, we're just going to say how about where L name is equal to, and then we can put a question mark there. And then in the bind, we could say like that. Excuse me. All right, so let's jump in back into the DB class. Now that we know kind of what we're aiming for, this params array is going to have conditions, bind, order, and limit. Um, and so here, when these params come in, we need to check if is set right params. Conditions, all right? And we also want them to have the ability for conditions to not only be a string, but it'd also be nice if conditions could uh, just be an array um, of conditions. For instance, um, it could be instead of a string, it could be um, L name. Something like this, and then we just say F name. Do something like this, or we could do, even do something like this. Okay. Um, so that's the two different ways that I want conditions to be able to be passed in. So we need to know uh, first of all if if it's set, and if it's set, we need to check if it's an array. So we have a PHP base function and say params conditions. So if that's an array, then uh, we're going to say for each params conditions as condition. Then what we can do is, in here we're going to add to our condition string. That's going to equal. Um, we need a space there. Condition. Another space. Uh, and. Okay. And if that's the case, then we'll also need to. For that for each, we will need to trim up that condition string. Trim off that last and and trim the white space at the beginning of that. Uh, from here there. Okay, so that's what's going to happen if conditions is an array. If it's not, then what we want to do is right here with some else um, condition string. Is going to be equal to um, params conditions, okay. and then uh, right after that, we'll, to finish up this conditions part of this, we want to say condition string is equal to uh, space. Where space catenate on uh, 
condition string. Um, and we only want to do that if it's if it's not an empty string already. So if condition string is not equal to an empty string, we want to do this. So that is it for conditions. Um, I know it's a little convoluted there, but we'll just keep going. Find is going to be a lot easier. So we'll just say if array key exists, find if that exists in params, then what? Well, then we're going to say find equals params um, that was easy um, moving on let's do order so we need to say if array is this we're looking for order and we're looking in params that's the case, then we want to say order is equal to order by space and then concatenate on commands order. Okay. And lastly we have limit and we'll say if Array key exists. Limit in params. Okay. Then we'll say limit is equal to limit space concatenate on params limit. Yep. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, the next thing that we want to do is set up our SQL statement. So SQL is going to be equal to select star um, table. Okay, and then we're going to put Conditions. And then we're going to put order. And I'm not put. Notice I'm not putting space here. Okay. And then what we'll do is we're going to say if this query um, SQL. So that query runs. Um, we'll say if count this results result. result. Well, we'll just do it in my state, but some people get these. So I'm going to return what I'll do first is if not count, we return false, else we're going to be a return true. And if this query doesn't run, the default will return false. Alright, so I know that that's a big method. Um, it's pretty big. Probably could do some other things to uh, extract the, some of this out into maybe conditions to be its own method by 
kind of order limit they call it be, but um, I'm going to leave it in this method for now. And then what we are going to be able to do is this find and find first method, we're going to be able to wrap up really quickly. So um, what we need to do here for our find mes method is we're going to um, return, well, now let's just check if this read pass in table params. So if that, then what we want to do is return this results else. We're going to return false. Okay. For the find first, we'll say if this read table params return this first else return false. Alright, so we have find and find first. Find first is going to return uh, just an object of the first result set, and then the find will return that. So let's just go ahead now and test this. I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, undefined variable conditions. Line 80. Yeah. Well, it's not conditions. This is actually condition string. You guys probably caught that. Um, we got false back. First, let's let's get rid of this array and just test this string. So. Um, I want to know where L name is equal to Alright, so uh, last name's Parham. Let's try F name Curtis. That works. Okay, so the way that we're actually going to do this is this is just going to be some an array of conditions, so f name would need to equal this, um, and we could we can do this. We can go ahead and use our find. Alright, so this is what it's expecting. So we could actually do this and say L name. Cool. And then what we're going to do is going to bind here. So, same result because that's what I expected. But what if I did just false? Alright, so if it's false, there's no records. So that's working. Um, let's try this. Let's get rid of the first name. And I'm going to get rid of the array too. I'm just going to say L name. And we'll get every result back with Parham. So that should give us two. So I only have two in my database. But what if I limited this to one? Okay, that works. Um, let's get rid of the limit and the order. And then let's test our find first method. So this should, even though there's two in the database, it should just get one. There we go. So um, pretty happy with this so far. Um, we have our find and find first. Um, we may extend this later, but for now, um, this is pretty usable as a wrapper. Um, we, we have all of our basic functionality that are our CRUD operations uh, create, read, update, delete. Um, so, and we even have a few additional ones like last ID. And so, anyhow, I hope you're having fun. That is our DB wrapper, and we will extend this class um, with our model and um, kind of extract away and make this even easier uh, to use in our application in our next video. So, I hope you're having fun and have a wonderful day.